Hello! It is me, your favorite streamer! Okay, that was a horrible, horrible voice to start things out with. Uh, but welcome! Welcome! Uh, so... I've been away for a little while, but hopefully you'll forgive me, as over that time I have entirely redone my audio setup, and will hopefully be sounding a lot better, significantly a lot louder as well which was one of my goals. I wanted to be able to kind of amp up the the volume on my videos because I didn't like, you know, having to like go on, on the Moth Mode YouTube page and then be like, ah, I, I, I can't hear Moth, I gotta turn up the volume. And then it's like, it's what the fuck am I on about? Anyway, um, so the thing is, whenever I mess around with my audio stuff, I don't like to just, um, I don't like to just, uh, jump straight into a big game that I'm doing, because if I mess things up, or if I, I don't know, accidentally stream for three hours and 50 minutes, um, or was it four hours and 50 minutes? I don't remember. Anyway, a stream without actually having my voice come through or something horrible like that, uh, so I'd like to be able to avoid that if at all possible. So today, I thought, oh, you know, I'll just do some sort of throwaway game, you know, and uh, what is says throwaway more than a continuation of my shitty hunting streams, which I'm still trying to like kind of finalize, like, do I do I really want to go with, like, I don't know, Moth Goes Wild or something like that? I need a I need a fun name for this segment because I want to keep doing this because I'm so not the demographic these games are designed for. So today we're actually going to be playing a uh, a fishing game, and some of you out there might think, uh, fishing? That's not hunting. Fuck you. Let's do this. I uh, just need to flip the video in OBS. There we go. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. We are going to get our arcade fishing action on. This is going to make our lives complete. Is there actually an intro to this game? It's like slowly building majestic music. I don't even know if you're going to be able to hear it. It's like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. This is going anywhere. I, I don't want to push any button because I want to know if this is going to go someplace. Are we just getting pictures? Oh shit. What's with the Seinfeld base? I need, I need to pump this jam one moment. Oh yeah. Fish jams. I'm gonna turn that back down now. <laughs> what a weird, a funky challenge. intro that was, huh? Like just a couple of pictures and then like Seinfeld bass jam. That should be the new, that should be the new theme song. Uh, okay, fishing games. What do I know about fishing games? Uh, I know about this fishing game. That's about it. Which is to say that I had this game when I when I was a wee, wee child. This is a PlayStation uh, game. I assumed that there was a arcade version, but I've never played it in in an arcade format. Okay, sorry about that. Just getting a drink. Uh, what's under options? How many options can there actually be in a fishing game? Credit. Give me all the- yeah, free. Look, I have all of the quarters. I don't need your bullshit. Why are there so many difficulty options for a fishing game? Hardest. Okay, uh... Let's see... Buttons... Autosave? This game had autosave? Okay. How much do you really need to save in a fishing game? Did I just kill it? Oh, no, it just was taking a little while. 
with PlayStation and PlayStation 2 emulation, it's always very rocky. So ex if we have some technical difficulties here, I, I really barely tested to see if this was going to work at all before I decided to jump in. So we could be in for a glitch, glitch fish, gl glitchy and fishy experience. That was fun. Uh, practice mode for be you know I'll, I'll I'll practice learn the oh go no. graphic design is my <laughs> what is graphic design <laughs> that was a really horrifying uh, screen gosh I'm I'm a little caffeinated this morning so I might be more energetic than usual lake paradise. So I guess we have a variety of locations we can do. Let's, uh... Let's do this one. P4. Uh, game will be over if timer reaches zero. Got it. I haven't played this game in so long. And also, honestly, I know nothing about how to actually play fishing games. So don't expect me to be any good at this. Like, I've done a lot of fishing in real life. I'm from a hunting and fishing community. That's part of the reason why I do these stupid games. Because these games were try like... My gosh, they have edgy... Why can you change the skin on your lure? And also, why, why are there, like, ridiculously edgy-looking skins for our lures? R bring... bring... Oh, man. Oh, man. Bring me... bring me back the edge fish. Yes. Give me the crank. Lure that sinks when it is pulled. Lure floats if allowed to drift. Quick pulls make the lure zigzag underwater. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm gonna catch a fish. Uh, got it. Out. Um, what button do I press? Oh, that's... Oh, here we go. Maybe? Okay, so I press what would be the circle button on a PlayStation controller to do productive things. That thing dives from the... S ah! What am I doing? Okay, uh, reeling... I got a fish. Okay, okay. I'm not reading any of this. Look, I'm just gonna press the reel in button a lot and hope that it does its job. I'm also gonna move my controller a little bit further away from the microphone in the hopes that you guys don't have to hear me endlessly sm- Oh shit. Uh, the line is about to snap. Press the L. Okay. Okay. I really wish that I could just hold the button here, but I have to, like, smash the circle button to reel this fucker in. Do I reel in faster if I do this? Like, do I just need to button smash? Come on, come on, come on, come on. I, I don't care. Break my line. I want you, fish. Oh, oh yeah, weirdly ed like epic music for a fishing game. Gotta say. Also, Large can I just pass. say that it's really interesting that like the measurements of the fish are the only thing in Every. the imperial system, as far as I can tell. And, like everything else seems to be metric, and then it's like pounds and inches. Okay. At the. Okay. Move spot. Let's go over here. I like how this is basically just like a photo with some vague effect put over the water to in, in the hopes that it made it look more real or something. Alright, come on. Let's uh let's get our fishing on. Fish. Gotta wait for it to go up. Pull it in. Pull it in. 
Get that zigzag motion. Oh, okay. yeah, yep. Yeah. Ah, hit that. That's not a. That's not a bass. It's gonna penalize me for, for getting this fish. That looks like a catfish. I'm assuming. See, the catfish were the thing. We we didn't really have bass fishing where where I lived, but um. Every year, out on the out on the, <laughs> I'm slipping into my foul Midwestern accent. <laughs> Time up. Oh, never mind. Please continue. Uh, yeah, I'll continue. So every every year, uh, this uh, this town right on the Mississippi would uh, they do a catfish fry. So. All of the, all, all of the, um, like the local fisher folk and like all the people that come into town for the, for the holiday, because it, it was literally a holiday. Um, they, they, they'd all go out on, on the river and they'd try to catch as many catfish as they could, and then like the, the veterans uh, that lived in the area, they'd all like fry up the catfish and then sell it. I don't know what they did with the money, now that I think about it. Maybe it was for, like, veteran fundraisers or something like that, but... Catfish. Not game fish. Of course, I, uh... Alright, I, I've, I've had enough of this, uh... How do I, how do I leave? Let me leave. Do I have to like reset the game to like get out? I mean, come on. Um, maybe I go to move spot. I'm stuck in fishing hell. Oh, this is no good. Come on. Maybe I maybe I just need to wait for the timer to uh to come out. Alright, let's let's get one more fish and I'll continue to tell weird fishing stories. While we wait for these 70 some seconds to tick down slowly. So, um I think like I think trout might have been a thing, like in some of the rivers in, in Wisconsin, or maybe something like that. Uh, uh, fish. fish. I don't even want this fish. I'm just going to spam circle and see if I can reel it in or not. Fishing action. I'm, I'm not going to... If it wants to break my line, it can break my line, all right? I don't care that this is a big fish, because I'm not going to catch it in 30 seconds, probably. Come on, come on. Long I dare you. Fish. There we go. Fish oh, on. God. What is this? Bullshit. Well, I mean, at least it's a bass this time. But like sport fishing was never really was never really a thing. I think sport fishing is way more of like a city person thing that it is actually like a like a weird country like sorta of, sorta of deal. Cause I, I never knew I don't know. I mean it, this it's the same with hunting really, like Am I not reeling in? Come on. Is the game just like stopped registering that I'm pressing this button? Time up. <laughs> Please continue. No, no, that's not what I wanted. Get me out of fishing hell. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. We've escaped fishing hell. <laughs> I'm. I accidentally pushed the wrong button. I didn't want to continue. I was just making, trying to make sure that my controller was working. And then it was like, oh, you, you want to continue to fish? 
I was like, no, no, please let me go. Oh no. I think my USB port might actually be dying on that end. Let me, uh, let me just, uh, reset. my PlayStation emulator. Because some of my some of my USB ports have gotten a little bit loose. And so I have had a little bit of trouble with them occasionally kicking off. If this doesn't work, then I think what I'm gonna have to do is actually just go back into the options. Fisherman's bait. Okay, it's Bass working. Challenge. We have a controller again, and we are out of fishing hell. So we don't need beginner. We don't need training. So I guess, uh... I guess it's time. Bass fishing tournament. Graphic design is my passion. I, I can't even read all of this because it's like so in my face. It's like, whoa, whoa, that text, golden, shiny, big text. Okay, so we're, th things have just gotten real. We have to like, we have to get the real fish. We have to get the bass. We have to get the numbers. We need a one. We need one pounds of bass to qualify here. It looks like we've got a lot of in front of us, though potentially. Uh, vibration, sure. Let's just toss it out there and let's start pulling that through the water. Fish on. Oh, oh, that's not it. That's that's not what I wanted. Just, just just kill my line. Stop giving me all these dramatic fish cams. I'm just gonna throw my throw my rod around and try to break my line. Spam the circle button as much as I possibly can. I, there we go. Now that was just a matter of trying to trying to get some some time. Okay. Like, the entirety of the gameplay of this game basically comes down to spam circle button. Like, I'm I'm really honestly not certain if there's any actual practical benefit to things like, uh, moving your rod in a different direction, like so. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. Here, fish. No, no. Fish on. Oh, what's that? Oh, I, I think that's a bluegill. So, bluegills are the absolute worst things because they vaguely look like they vaguely look like a bass, but actually they're just trash fish basically, and they're so lightweight that it's almost impossible to get your line to break on them. Ah, <sighs> I may not even qualify. I won't be. I, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if I didn't qualify. Oh no! Oh Blue no! Not game fish. Okay. Let's uh. Let's try over here, maybe. You know, if I don't get. I mean, if I don't get a fish this time, then I'm basically fucked because time's gonna run out. Come on. Spam, circle, 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 circle. So I don't, I don't plan on playing this game for, for a super long period of time or anything like that. And actually, I just realized, is my window a little off kilter? Let me, let me fix that. Whoa. Time up. Let me, uh, Please let me continue. get that fixed. There we go. I realize that there's a that there's going to be a black box around this game, but honestly, I don't care. I don't think too many people are going to be. Fish on. 
Oh, that's that's not what I wanted. All right, yeah, just just break Small my line. Fish. There we go. Catfish can actually get absurdly large. I'm having no luck here. Let's move. Remember that I am playing on the hardest difficulty. Which, uh, I have no idea what effects that has, honestly. All right, um, you know, let's use worm. You gonna tell me? Oh, no, it decided not to tell me how this lure works. I guess I'm just gonna figure it out for myself. I think it just, yeah, it just seems to drag across the bottom. This is fine. Let's see if we get it. Uh, is that a bass? Oh shit. I think this is a bass. I think we might actually be getting our game fish finally. Uh, spam. Why? Okay, poor, poor fishing game design 101, making your players absolutely spam the shit out of one button to reel in their line at like a fraction of a yard each time is really not necessarily the best game strategy for for enjoyable gameplay <laughs> like this this may be a dramatic revelation that a lot of people wouldn't necessarily have come to on their own here but seriously oh largemouth bass not even one not even one pound. Aww. So why does it give it in ounces over there, but on the actual live well thing, it gives it in fractions of a pound? A a as being like d decimal. Decimal pounds. I hate this lure. Give me the grub. I hate all of these lures. I hate lures. I hate fishing. <laughs> I hate fishing games. <laughs> this is another one that just drags across the bottom. Actually, I, I gotta say, from when I've actually done fishing on my own, I vastly preferred lure fishing over, like, regular fishing with, like, actually impaling a worm on your hook and just, like, letting it dangle there. Because at least with lure fishing, you're actually trying to, like, do something? You're not just sitting there waiting and making some vague hope that a fish just decides to bite the worm floating there. I gotta say, though, these, these amazingly dramatic fish cams are absolutely the best. Like, I, I really get into this game when I see this polygonal fish just writhing through this underwater environment. It really gets me into the game, is what I'm trying to say here. We're not gonna... Oh, come on! Come on! How am I supposed to do this? Just come... Come in. I wonder if the difficulty only changes how much you reel in at a time. Please continue. Yep. Let, let, just, just let me, just let me continue, game. I know that I don't have enough to qualify yet, and I have infinite continues because I'm not trying to play this game seriously. Oh, my hands are getting so tired. Oh. Large mouth bass. Qualified. Oh, there we go. Qualified. Oh, Alright, so we've got we've got ten minutes to catch the biggest motherfucking bass out there. Think I can do it? Cause I don't. That said, I've been having a really, really lucky time with the grubs and and the worms, so let's let's keep doing this. 
10 minutes left. Gonna throw it way out there, and we're just gonna start reeling it in. But like, I've never known anyone who actually does sport fishing. Like, I've, I've known a ton of fishers. I come from a fishing and hunting community, but I've never known anyone who does sport fishing. You know. Fish oh. on. Okay, okay. Nope, it's a big one. Come on. Come on. I don't get how you're supposed to get three three bass in 120 seconds, though. Like, am I the only one who's sitting here a little bit confused by this concept? I guess it's, I guess it's a game designed to steal your quarters, really. Which, fortunately, we have unlimited quarters. As, um... Obviously, I'm... Playing the PlayStation version. Don't tell anyone. Maybe this isn't actually a very big bass. It's not really pulling nearly as much as it was at first. Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh! A no nope. large mouth bass. Average. I like how they didn't capitalize the first letter on on uh, the size numbers. They really needed... Oh, I think I may have found the way to do- to reel in things faster. If you hold the L2 button and you press circle, or the- or the R2 button, it seems to do a lot more at a time. Okay, I've just discovered the secret to this game. Ah. Got that. The fishing secrets are now mine and mine alone. Except for everyone else who's watching me play this game and now also knows the fishing secrets. Okay, let's, uh... Let's do a lure change. I'm I'm bored of this lure. I want an edgy popper. Give me Yep, there we go. This is what I want. Uh, you know, I'm about to time out again. Let's go ahead. Wait a minute. Why does it still have a 120 second timer if it's a 10 minute tournament? What? What? <laughs> I'm, 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 am I the only one who's suddenly really confused? Time up. Because it's like. Please continue. Time up, but also, this is a 10 minute tournament. Huh? Huh? Guys, I think this might actually just be a bad fishing game. Ah, ah. Oh, 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 that, that's not what I wanted. Okay, I think pulling back increases the amount that you draw in the distance with smacking circle. Holding R2 and pressing circle releases the line, does not pull it in when you have a fish attached, as I've just learned, unfortunately. Come on. Come on. What if I, what if I put it down? Okay, okay. 
No, it just, it just really, really wants me to button mash. Like, it really wants me to button mash, and I'm, I'm like... Uh, my fingers. I hate this game. I mean, all of the hunting Ooh. and fishing games that I that I play are bad for their own special Lord, reasons, bad. but this one is is especially not Ooh. friendly to my poor to my to my poor poor body. That it crashed. That's PlayStation emulation for you guys. I was waiting for that to happen. And I almost had three fish, even. Well, I'm not going to give up that easily. Like, I want to know how much real fishing technique goes into the creation of this kind of game. Because I, I have a feeling it's very, very little. Like, phenomenally little. Fisherman's Bait, a bass challenge. Okay, let me just... Oof. I wonder if that came across on my microphone. Let's go back into options. Give me that, give me that sick playtime. Uh, 240 seconds. No, 300 seconds. Let's put it on... Easiest now. Uh, R3... R3 button. Cast. Controller... Wait a minute, what can I... What can I change? Cast, real, release. Release, LR, or... Type 6. Oh no, type C. Release. So there's, there's really only... Why are there even options? Like, I'm, I'm sorry, but why? Also, why is L2 the accept button? Shock on... Wait a minute, real sensitivity? Five, maybe? Okay. I, I have no idea. I have no idea if I just did things for the better or the worse. Let's find out. Uh, back to the tournament. We're now on the easy. Ah! Oh my god, it's ugly! Oh. I'm, I'm determined to play through a full tournament. Or at least try. Like, I, I really want to do this thing. And by really want to, I mean I want to cry. Uh, pencil bait, why not? So, just in case you want to know a little bit about what I do know, I know that we have our top baits, then we have our middle baits, and then we have our bottom baits. I'm not sure what the jerk bait is. Um, I don't know if it's considered middle or, or bottom. I could use it and, like, instantly find out. Uh, let's let's use the edgy vibration bait. Why am I saying bait suddenly? They're lures. Okay. Am I gonna get a fish? My I... gonna get a fish? Oh. Easy mode just means you never catch fish. Like they maybe they purpose fish Oh! On. That's not a bass. Hmm. 
like, where's the button to pull out a pair of scissors and just cut my line and save me some losses? <laughs> okay, this, uh, this lure is not my friend right now. Let's try something else. Let's try jerk. I haven't used it yet. Just gonna casually aggressively assault my um my microphone stand here. Good. Oh shit. Let me guess it's gonna be the most ridiculous. Oh, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Line that was a big one. That that lasted a that lasted a Fish good on. long. Um, what is that? I'll tell you what that no. is in the bass. Line break. There's a there's a lot of fish types in this game that aren't bass. Which I guess is kind of cool. Uh the jerk bait seems to be the most like stays right about where you where you throw it. So I guess it is sort of a middle one as well. Hit. Okay, okay. Come on. Okay. Oh. You know, I think that line sensitivity thing, there that real sensitivity thing that I was doing earlier, um, may have a. Uh, May have increased the the way that the tension system works, and may have made the game ridiculously hard for me. Because originally I thought it was how many, like, how much how much yardage oh, no. you were pulling in. Rain boots. Clean up. Okay. O okay, you know, I I like how the boot has a uh, presumably Japanese text on it. Also gave you fuck tons of time. Fish. All right. Cuz like all like Either these fish are ridiculously large, or my tension meter is just wanting me to die. Oh, no. Gotta, gotta kind of, gotta kind of wait it out. I think. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my sweet time with this fish. I'm gonna let it progress toward me at its own fishy pace. We're gonna find out, is this actually a big fish or is, is this game just, uh, just fucking with me and making my line break constantly? I mean, this looks like we're gonna reel it in. Come on. There we go. Oh. Large mouth bass. Tell me it's at least a large size. Qualified. Meh. Guess I can't complain too much. Time Today for the real tournament. Home. I did like that jerk bait. Let's go here. I, do you think that they that they base these lakes off of actual places? Like, is there a real lake howl that ha that they took all of these photographs at? I wonder. Sure. I I mean maybe. 
Or like, are we in fictitious fishing paradise land? Like, I, I really want to know if we're in a fantasy fishing world or not. Could you imagine if someone actually made a fantasy fishing game that was like, like this, but better and like, I don't know, you were just some like elf or something like that and you were trying to catch like weird fantasy fish and like sea monsters and stuff. Like, Monster Hunter Fishing Edition. I think I'm getting the hand the the hang of how to actually play this game though. And I think that the uh that the real um sensitivity did affect how much I reel in it once. Um which is also why my tension is jumping so much at a time. Large mouth bam. Alright. It's not bad. It's a good first catch. I didn't expect to catch uh, something quite like that so Good. soon. Uh, this is not what I want. Kill it. Kill it. Come on. Come on. Like, I I can kind of increase the the tension by doing by going like left and right. I just want it to destroy my line. Please destroy my line. I beg you. I, I want my precious seconds. Uh, all right, fine, I'll catch you. I will catch you and I will suffer for it. Oh no. Snake here. I, I love that voice. It's like, oh no, I caught something that wasn't the sport fish. I, I really want to... What's that? Ah, catfish. Fuck. No. 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 Let my line die. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's not the end of the world because I do get a small handful of seconds restored from actually catching these... These stupid things. Come on, come on. Oh no. Get this. Okay, yeah, yeah, plus 18 seconds. I'll accept that. A small commiseration for my time. Come on, all I want is a bass. Gimme give, give me the sweet gimme the sweet bee. Be the sweet bee. Fish on! There we go. What kind of what kind of bass are you gonna be? Probably not a big one. Fish cam. Is it time for another? Where's it? Fish cam. Oh, double fish cam! Really, my life is so much more exciting that the fish cam is part of it. Just in case you wanted to know, I'm a big fan of the fish cam. Oh, that's actually bigger than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be teeny tiny. Average. That's larger than my last one. Still nothing, nothing to brag about. Oh, come on. I love how the non-bass fish, you don't even have to actually no. do the, um... Line break. Do the thing. It just automatically kind of goes, You got the fish. Fuck you. Fish you on. didn't... What's that? Oh, that's a bass. That is a bass. All right, I'll accept this. Come on, reel it in. Okay, okay. Come on. Calm down. Calm down. I'm not gonna press the real button until you calm down. There we 
we go. Oh, oh, come on, come on. There's a, there is a little bit of skill here. There's a, there's a little bit of skill. Uh, just a little bit. Just a little bit, but there's a little bit of skill. Just a little bit of skill. Come on. I like how half the time I press the, the button to reel and it doesn't even actually... God damn. This game hates my emulator. I didn't have like any problems playing most of the other PlayStation 1 games I've played over, over time. You know, let me see, uh, let's just, let me just see what my, um, let me just see what my setup is, uh, let's see if there's anything I could change. Let's just uh, go ahead, keep native. Um... There we go. Just gonna see if I can, if I might be able to change anything that might actually affect this. I have no idea why. I, you know, honestly, it's probably just the fact that no one ever really spent a lot of time trying to optimize uh, PlayStation emulation for Fisherman's Bait, because who, who the fuck actually would play this? Like, honestly? Hmm. Do messing around with my options. Oh boy. Now it's just like ridiculously angry that I that I dare attempt to play this this foul thing. There we go. Weirdly enough, I actually increased a lot of my uh, a lot of my graphical options, so the game might actually look a little bit different. Assuming it doesn't instantly crash. Completed auto loading. Fisherman's bait, a bass challenge. Ah, uh, that um, uh, what is it called? Like S A S S A L X two filtering or something like that? I don't remember. God damn though, this game, this game does not want me to finish a tournament. How am I supposed to finish a tournament if it keeps crashing? Well, I mean, what I could do. Oh, my, uh, my, my PSX, PSXR window does not stay up. Hmm. 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 I was doing really well, too. That makes me sad. Ugh. Ah, God, I hate that filtering, actually. I really hate that filtering. It's ugly. I've been kind of into the jerk bait. I've been, I've been having good luck with this, so I think I'm going to keep using it. All right, let's see. How long is it going to take me to qualify? Fish on! 
All right, we got a we got a bass. Question is how large of a bass? Which I'm not really gonna know until I until I bring it in. Can I just push? Ooh, if I push both these buttons, I reel it in super fast. Okay. New pro strat. Smack both of the reel in buttons for maximum efficiency. Yeah, this is gonna be super tiny. Oh, oh my god! Large mouth bass. It's so cute. I mean, it's a good thing I'm not really actually trying to play this game seriously. I'm I'm really just trying to have a have a casual addition to my collection of horrible hunting and apparently now fishing games that I that I do. Otherwise, I'd be pretty miffed about these crashes. Not even gonna be a pound, I bet. Large no, maybe. I may have spoken too soon. Yeah, Lord no, my my new uh, my new thing is just too too powerful. Today my smacking don't... both of the buttons at once technique is far too good for this game. Okay, we can go ten minutes without a crash. I'm sure of it. We're gonna go here. We've got all the boats. I like boats. I like boats. Uh, let's, um... Yes! Give it to me. Give me the sparkly blue thing. Gonna gonna switch things out. Try new things. Tap 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 tap. Fish. No, oh, that's not what I wanted. Come on, just 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 smack these buttons. Oh no. Catfish. That is a big ass catfish. Not game fish. It's the biggest fish I've caught. I think. Five pounds. I mean, hell, if you if if I if 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 you caught that in real life, you'd eat pretty damn well, I think. Five pound catfish. Fish on. Do you know that there's a there's a fish that lives in the ocean that is like essentially nothing but bone and like skin. Lost fish. And they uh like like they're ex they're they're barely sentient essentially like by animal standards, and just kind of like float around like complete idiots, letting the waves take them wherever they'll end up going. And other other animals like don't even really bother to eat them because they're more like it's not worth it nutritiously to eat them. And like when animals try, they just kind of sit there like, oh, I'm being eaten. I guess this sucks. It's they're 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 like the mola molas or something like that. I can't I can't remember the exact name that they have. I've never really they're an ocean fish and I've never lived near an ocean, so largemouth bass. I mean just in general I don't Aww. really know stuff. Whoa, I can just like up and down dip fish. So glad that I can dip the fish. Good. Here we go. I think this is a bigger one. Not super big, but big enough. Hmm. 
Like, as soon as I get a bass, I'm, I, 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 I tone so way down. I actually, like, need to focus, and it's like, okay, this is the fish that I want. Let's not fuck this up. Now I'm kind of wondering whether or not I'm correct about that, or whether or not this is... Like, is this actually a big fish, or is... Did it just start off kind of tough? Because it's not really fighting anymore. Not just like, oh, fish, are you okay? Do you need a fish therapist? You're supposed to fight for your life. You're supposed to want to live, damn it! What am I to do if even the fish, they do not want to live? Here we go. Large I, I want to dip the fish. Dip the fish. Large. Dip the fish. Dip fish. I am so easily entertained. Okay, there we go. Okay, I don't mean to like annoy people by spouting my my obnoxious veggie eating bullshit here. But I gotta say, if you really want something that's good and fried and isn't fish, uh like deep fried artichokes are amazing. Good. Okay. Okay. Come on. Just gonna, just gonna reel you in. Just gonna smash some buttons here. Just gonna, sm just gonna smash some buttons when the fish cam is over. I'm not actually certain that smashing both buttons is faster than just smashing one a lot. Truth be told, I feel like I should have a towel wrapped around my controller so that you guys don't hear me clacking its buttons. Largemouth bass. I mean, if I can have the emulator survive to the end of the 10 minutes, I might actually be able to, to see how well I do here. I might even do well, who knows. Fish. That's not what I want. I'm gonna flail and smash buttons and please get off my line. I don't want you. I'm sorry. I still can't believe I caught a boot. You know, I never did that once when I was a kid. Lost fish. Not not a single time. I've had I, I played this game for years because I had no life. And I never caught a single boot. And now it's like I'm playing this, streaming it live, and it's like, hey, do you want a boot? Have a boot. Is there other trash I can get, I wonder? I really want to know, like, what sort of trash. Fish on! Ugh. That's not what I wanted. Mm. Fish. Oh, wow, I actually managed to lose a bluegill somehow. That's in the spot. Uh, let's go... Is that a lighthouse? Oh, oh. What is that? Oh, that's a bass. Okay. Okay, we got a... possibly a big one. Possibly a big one. Uh, let's let it tire itself out a little bit. Oh, reel! Oh, shit. Let's reel it in. These games are surprisingly addictive because of how simple they are. Like, like, you have a very basic objective. Just catch the fish. And the mechanics of the game are very simple. It's It still actually does make you think because of, like, the line tension and all of that. 
And I'm sure that if I knew a little bit more about how to actually play this game, I could effectively utilize like my rod angle and things like that, but I'm not really gonna try to unless I'm just breaking my line. Okay. Uh, come on. How's oh. Biggs it gonna be? Oh, that's Large not bad. That's not bad. I think that's my second two plus pounder. Average. Yep. Dip the fish. Dip the fish. Oh, apparently one of the cats is absolutely freaking out. I'm not catching the big bass though. That's like, that's the problem. I need to catch the big bass. So I can win the tournament. Because I don't know if my two pound bass are going to really cut it. You know what? It's so close. I'm just gonna catch it. I'm gonna I'm gonna smash this button as much as I can, and I'm gonna just pull it in in like oh, three seconds. No. Catfish. It definitely gave me more seconds than it took me to to pull it in. So I'd say that was definitely a net gain. I like how there's like fish shadows if you if you wait long enough before you cast. I don't know if those are actually specifically telling you where the bass are or if it's just like fish shadows in general. They're all shaped like bass, but it could just be misleading. Come on, just just come in. You're not you're not really fighting, so I'm just gonna smack that button. Smack it. Oh. Now watch, this is gonna be. Oh, Large I was gonna say bass. something silly like, "Oh, this is gonna be the biggest fish I've caught yet," and it's like, nah. Average. I can't even dip this fish. It doesn't reach the bottom. I'm like genuinely upset that I cannot dip the fish. Dipping the fish is the fun part. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to just pull this right up to the to the fish shadow that was very close and see if I can get its attention. Are you kidding me? This game refuses to allow me the the dignity that I would gain. instantly upon finishing a tournament. <laughs> I just want to point out that when I played Spyro the Dragon, um, I didn't have a single crash. And now, like, here I am trying to play Fisherman's Fisherman Bait, which I can- bait. You, you cannot right. tell me that this game is in some way more complicated. Here, I don't think we've been to Lake Rainier yet. Or Raymer. No, it does look like Raymier. Like, are there any cool spots here? Like, it looks like we have a town level over there. Let's go to the town level. I know I'm not in a tournament, I'm just in training mode. I'm not gonna play this game for too much longer. I just kinda wanted to, uh do a really, really short, um, simple thing, because, I mean, part of, part of me doing t this stream today was essentially just to test out my new audio settings to make sure that I'm not going to sound horribly abrasive or anything like that, because that would, of course, not be the goal. I do not want to be horribly abrasive. Then I didn't want to just start a game that... I was gonna be like super, super stuck on and like no, then have my first episode right. sound weird. I'm just gonna see what the biggest fish I can catch is for a little while. Basically until the next crash, which is gonna inevitably happen. 
Like, I don't care if it's a bass or if it's a catfish or anything else. I'm just going to see what the biggest fish is that I can catch. Good. Come on. How big are you? All right. Large mouth bass. That's a good start. I can dip this fish. Average. If I can dip it, I'll keep it. That's, that's 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 what I really care about in a fish is whether or not I can dip the fish. If people are like might stumble in on the stream or just gonna hear me being like, oh yeah, dip that fish, and they're gonna be like, okay, okay, I'm just gonna leave now. This person's a fucking weirdo. Uh, I might do one more game uh, today. I would like to kind of kind of do a couple of remedial catching up streams, but I'm I'm basically going to uh, take a break after I'm done streaming this game to get set up with my next game, and I'm also going to take some time to listen to the audio on this. Uh, Bluegill. That is a kawaii fish. Not game fish. I'm I'm sorry. That that is a kawaii fish. That is not a that is not a real fish. That's too small. It's a fucking minnow. Um, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna take a little bit of time. I'm gonna get things together. I can't be streaming all day today, um, but I should be streaming a little bit more regularly this week in particular, as uh, my roommate is finally back at work, which means I have the house to myself during the day. And I would like to start, um, I would like to start my next big, uh, RPG, because I want that to be kind of my main thing that I do when I'm not playing one-off hunting games and stupid shit like this. I'm very tempted to do another Tekken stream. I'm not sure if people would be interested in that or not. Bluegill. Not Gamefish. But I'm like, I'm half decent at Tekken is the thing. And like, I can, I can play online and occasionally actually win on ranked matches. Like I'm not good enough for, I, I wouldn't actually want to do like tournaments or anything like that, but I'm, I'm decent at Tekken and it's a really cool, it's a really cool game. So there's a part of me that does really want to kind of, whoa, whoa, calm down fish. This must be a big one. This must be a big one. Okay. 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 I, I, I want this fish. I want this fish. Do not deny me this fish game. Do not deny me this fish! Sorry for anyone who's listening to this with headphones on. I I imagine that that is the voice that this bass has. It's like, foolish human, you think you can catch me? I am too powerful for you. <laughs> My downstairs neighbors are gonna be like, what the actual fuck is happening upstairs? You know, at some point, I'd really like to be able to uh, to do a tabletop stream. Um, I'm not sure what Twitch's guidelines are for that sort of thing. Oh, that's a fish. Man. This is a very dippable fish. Look at that. Large. This is a very, very dippable fish. Okay. Mm, yeah, that's a nice dip. Oh. That's the uh, fifth largest bass on this uh, on this level, apparently. That's cool. Uh, 
Let's just uh do my do my best here. I'll just bring bring a little fishy in. Bring a little fishy in. Uh but yeah, I'm thinking Legends of or what is is it called Legends of Grimrock? But uh Gr Grimrock Gr Grimrock is going to be my my next uh RPG that I plan to play. Uh, at least attempt to play all the way through. It's more of a dungeon crawler. Um, to my understanding. But I'm not totally opposed to that. I am, after all, like a big fan of roguelikes and similar games. And at some point, I'd like to do the Wizardry series, so I really need to get good at that genre in order to actually play something like the Wizardry series. Um, and I think that those are games where not very many people really stream them. So... You know, like like Wizardry One and some of the other older, forgotten DOS era um, dungeon crawling games, and I think that those would be a lot of fun to kind of look at and compare to each other and try to play some of them through to completion. Not necessarily all of them. I'm not sure if I would want to uh, pick up a like some actual graph paper, or if I would want to use a, a use a program because I do actually have a program explicitly to help with um, mapping some of those old dungeon crawler games, or at least I used to. Um, but I think that that program has since gone paid version only. So I mean, there's a part of me that wonders like if I stream those games, maybe it would be a good idea to like have it have my system set up. So that like I have the game running on half of the screen, and then I have like my mapping program on the other half of the screen, so people Large can kind of see like me do the mapping process. Because what you used to do is Large. you used to actually sit there with graphing paper and actually draw a real physical paper map as you were doing it, but that wouldn't be as interactive of an experience for people who are watching this online. So at this point, I'm basically just wondering how long it's going to take for this game to crash. Like, as soon as I have my next crash, that's going to be the end of the stream. Good. Seeing as it has been crashing very reliably. Or maybe it just doesn't like tournament mode, who knows. It's entirely... I, I've had games that do things like that, where like they're perfectly fine in some modes, but then not others. There we go. And like with Grimrock, I don't have to worry about that because Grimrock actually has sort of its own internal automated mapping thing that it does. I'm talking about if I do, like, old games of that sort of genre. Not that anyone would really want to watch those games, I don't think. I, like, I, I'd really be hard-pressed to find people that want to that wanna watch that, which is why I don't really expect to get That's very it. many viewers on my channel in general. I mean, I play, like, dumb hunting games, and Not I play RPGs that have ridiculously long full playthrough streams. I'm kind of a niche streamer, let's say. Dog, leave the cat alone. Lie down. If I actually run... I'm going to be a little bit salty if I run out of time. Like, before, before the game crashes, considering that it refused to allow that to happen earlier like in tournament mode like maybe training mode's just gonna sit here and work perfectly fine and and like practice fishing hell might work perfectly fine but then training mode is just like no no i'm still so confused why does this game 
tell you that tournament is 10 minute and then ask you for credits. Catfish. And like have the timer. Not game fish. And like it's a 10 minute tournament, but you don't actually get to use all of your time. You only get to use 120 seconds until unless you put in an extra credit. Like what? That's a little that's a little strange, don't you think? You know, I think it's uh, it's actually uh, 9 a.m. for me, so this is actually an early morning fishing stream, which is like when you actually go fishing. So th there's kind of a kind of something funny to that in a way. Oh dear God, dog, you reek! Apparently, doggo needs a bath. My roommate's adorable German Shepherd. Catfish. I can dip it, I keep it. Not game fish. That's the rule. It's a move spot. Maybe moves moving the spot is what triggers the game to decide to just vomit. I really want to get the new... I, honestly, I feel like I was going to say this, and pardon me if I'm repeating myself, but I really want to get the new the new rendition of the Carnivore's Dinosaur Hunter that's on Steam. As Carnivore's 2 was the very, like, literally the very first game I streamed, I think. Uh, it was either that or XCOM. I'm pretty sure it was Carnivore's, though. I, I mean, I could look if I went back to my old archives channel that has all of my horrible, horrible streams from before I thought that things like audio quality mattered. Which still, I'm not perfect. I'm I'm learning and I'm trying to get better as a streamer. Maybe someday I'll be a cool streamer, like literally any other streamer. Maybe one day I'll have the mindset that, hey, you know, if I actually play games that people care about, maybe people would watch my streams. But then this wouldn't be moth mode, would it? I'd sell out! Go mainstream! I mean, I played Tekken, and I got some viewers when I played Tekken, so it's not like I got jack shit, but still. Largemouth bass. That's a big one. Large. Nice. Crash, I dare you. Like, I, I actually want it to crash so I can be freed from this game. Like, I realize I could just hit the escape key or something like that to stop playing this horrible fishing game. But I need the game. I like. I I need the emotional satisfaction of the game either crashing or of my timer running out. I don't think I can be happy without that. Those those things happening. Good. Okay. Okay. Are we gonna be a big one or are we gonna be a small one? It's hard to tell. I think it's gonna be a small one. It's not pulling quite hard enough. Um, real, please? There we go. The responsiveness for whether or not it wants to reel really... It, it just kind of does whatever it wants. You know, I should tell a good fishing story. Okay, so... I, I was on the Mississippi, actually. And I was using a little, uh, like, this really cute, adorable little little lure that I had that was, like, basically just some thread and beads wrapped around a fishing hook. Like, it was one of the most simple-looking lures you could possibly imagine, and it was actually, like, genuinely kind of cute. And so I went fishing with it on the Mississippi, and I'm, like, reeling in my line slowly, doing the thing, and um, I was fishing with my family. 
large mouth bass. And uh, I didn't, I didn't actually have anything bite, but like as I was pulling it in, like large. right as it was getting to the to the edge of the water where it was really shallow, I I see this big ass fish like coming up, following my lure, and uh, like like I think it was a catfish. But I wasn't hundred percent sure because like the the water on the Mississippi is pretty pretty damn murky. So you could imagine how shallow this must have been for me to even see it. Um But it was like probably a foot long catfish or something like that. Which was big for me because I never actually caught anything. And it just like opened its mouth and like chomped down on on my lure and just like in like it just like tore off and my line broke instantly because I was using like this really, really weak fishing line. Like basically the cheapest stuff you could imagine from Walmart. It, like if I if I had to guess it was maybe somewhere in the realm of being like a five to eight pound Large catfish or something like that. Assuming that I saw it correctly, but it, it was just so weird because like I was I was actually really sad because I lost my really super cute fishing fishing lure. Um, and like that thing was so cool and I never saw one like quite like it again. I, I could probably find one if I really tried, but I don't fish, so. I neither fish nor hunt, that's why I, I play these games <laughs> and kind of make fun of them. And I realize I just gave you guys like a one that got away story. It's, it's not even one that got away. It's literally just like it decided, fuck that like fishing line. I'm going to destroy it now. And that's the entire story. My family absolutely hated the concept of lure fishing. Um, they were like, all they wanted to do was impale worms on their fishing lines and just like let the fish chomp. And that was, I couldn't do it. I just could not do it for the life of me. First off, because worms are gross as hell. And second off, because I wanted to actually like have some degree of skill to my fishing experience and not just like vaguely hope that a fish decides to bite the line at some point. So my parents, they like never caught anything, but I got into, cause my, my parents kept, you know, and especially my, my grandfather kept dragging me on all these fishing expeditions. So like I bought some lures and I was like, no, I'm gonna try to make fishing actually fun for me. And I used to catch things a lot, a lot better than they did, so. Not game fish. 9.56 pounds. I don't think I'm gonna break 10 pounds. Especially not with only 30 seconds remaining. Fish on! Here we go. Probably the last, you know. No. Line break. Uh, fuck. Good! I think it's just a bluegill. I don't even think I'm gonna be able to catch this bluegill in the in the time I have left. Uh, I'm just gonna sit back, and spam that button, stretch. And everything's gonna be a okay. Three, two, one. Come on, come on, come on! Catch it! Catch it! Nope. Please continue. Oh, I can finally escape fishing hell, guys. I can finally escape. My soul is no longer bound to this foul game. Oh. Ugh, crack my neck while I'm at it. I'm just gonna let the timer run out. I'm curious what's gonna happen. Today's results. Catfish. Oh. That was Fisherman's Bait, a bass challenge, in case you didn't know. Apparently Konami produced uh, several fishing games, or so I'm told. 
I got fifth. Uh, let's see here. I get... Uh, M... O... Moat. I actually did, uh, not so bad, I suppose. Game over. For, uh, for a no continues. No continues run. Okay, game over. I can escape. I'm gonna go do so. Thank you very much for watching. I'm gonna be back in a little bit, probably with the beginnings of Legend of Grimrock, assuming that I appreciate the sound quality on this. If I don't come back, it's because I've decided that my audio setup still requires more work. And I'll probably start the game tomorrow or something like that. Also, I will see you soon.